Hey everyone, I have a quick Adobe Lightroom tutorial for you. This is coming from a question from one of our students in the Adobe Lightroom CC course. Molly, she took some photos at a wedding and she's got this photo right here and you can see that they're backlit by the sun and she's trying to get the right white balance especially for their skin. The shadows, it's a little bit too blue and she's tried to kind of brush on the skin to make sure that uh, there's specific parts to fix that, that sort of blue hue that you're getting and she needs a little bit of help. So I'm gonna go into Lightroom, she sent me the photo and I'm gonna show you what I would do. Honestly for me, all I'm going to do is use my white balance color picker to set the white balance for the whole photo. So I'm gonna pick somewhere in her dress, somewhere that has enough light, not somewhere in the, the shadows of her dress because if I do that, you can see that it becomes a little bit too green or a little bit too blue. So somewhere where there's enough light, somewhere that should be a little bit neutral and then playing around with this because her dress might have a little bit of uh, more of like a uh, not pure white tone or maybe a little bit of yellow in it. So I'm just gonna drop that down just a little bit. But you can see that it increased our temperature and our tint a little bit. And when we zoom in here, it actually looks like her the skin tones are actually really good. Another issue is that the shadows on their faces are just a little bit dark. So let's bring up those shadows just a little bit, just like so. And what we can do is drop the highlights and let's see the whites where the pure whites are right now. I'm holding option and dragging on the slider to see where pure whites are. And we have some pure whites, which is totally fine because you have some, some overexposed parts of the image, which is fine, it looks fine. Uh, same with the blacks, let's see where the pure blacks are. Let's drop that down just before we get pure black. We can see, let's crop it first because we don't wanna worry about anything in the photo where we're not gonna be editing later or that's not gonna be in the photo later. Later, She had sent us a cropped photo that looked about like so. So that looks a little bit better. Overall, exposure looks pretty good on the faces, the skins, everything looks pretty good to me. The background is a bit overexposed. So what we can do is actually take our, let's take our gradient filter right here, our graduated filter right here. And let's just add a graduated filter just like so, practically for the whole thing. And what we're going to do is let's erase the part where these the girls are. So press O on your keyboard or click the show selected mask overlay, click brush, and then erase. Click erase, make sure flow is at 100, and we're just going to erase everywhere where their skin is. Actually, first before this, let me just show you what I'm going to do because I wanna show you how this actually looks. So what I'm doing is I'm going to drop the exposure or maybe even just the tint, make it a little bit more green in the background, not overboard. But if you're worried that it looks a little bit too yellow now, I'm not worried about their faces, I'm just worried about the background looking a little too yellow. I'm gonna back that off just a little bit. But now this is affecting their face. So if we brush on or erase, we're going to get rid of that. So press O on your keyboard, make sure we brush off everything. So everything in their faces, their hair, especially their skin, because we don't wanna make their skin look more green or blue or anything like that. So let me just increase our brush size, brush over everything right here. Their whole, dr all of their dresses, everything. Make sure there's none. And you can tell when you have the show selected mask overlay on where you have your selections versus what's not selected. And I'm okay if I'm brushing a little bit above their head just because we got feathering on. We can go back and brush on if we need to. Just like so if we went a little bit too far because we don't wanna create a glow around them of sort of another color. Let's turn off that show select mask overlay. So now if we go, we could do all kinds of things. We could decrease the highlights, decrease the shadows just to get a little bit more contrast in the background. I like something just a little bit like that. If we wanted to be actually less in focus, we could drop the, the sharpness, which is kind of cool, or even the clarity. You give that kind of glow effect, which is kind of cool. If it's hazy and you don't want it to be hazy, you can increase the haze or the dehaze. 
So that's looking pretty good to me. One other thing I would do is try to get rid of some of these things in the background. We can go to our healing brush. So just this brush right here and let's take our heal brush. Opacity at 100 size, that's pretty good. Feather, that's pretty good. Let's go about 70 with our size. Let's just brush over this car. Don't wanna see a car in our background. Move this just like so, that looks pretty good. Maybe right here with this pole. Just like so, that's pretty good. Let's just brush right around her hair. Get rid of that pole. You don't want any whole poles in their hair. And then up here with this little pole right here, I'm just going to use the clone brush to directly copy and paste another bit of the sky over here. Something like that. I mean, you could go crazy with this stuff and start deleting all these poles back here, but that's a little bit more work, but that's basically the process of how to do it. So let's look at the before and after by pressing the backslash key before, after, before, after. So their skin tones are looking good. I can go back in here in the basic and maybe add a little bit more contrast in the tone curve section, change this from linear to medium contrast. So that adds a little bit more saturation, makes things pop a little bit more. I can zoom in here and see there's a little bit of noise. If you want to decrease that noise, you can, but it might make everything look a little bit more washed out and you know, we're, for skin, for this type of thing, it's not technically, t it's not really a bad thing. Uh, that looks pretty nice, but we don't want to go too crazy uh, and, because it's going to start looking like, like a painting or something like that. So let's see the before and after again. That's looking pretty darn good. This one, you know, just for stylistic, we might want to try sort of a highlight, just a very, very subtle highlight vignette or an opposite vignette just to focus their attention. I actually really don't like highlight or the white vignettes, especially when people do that, but just a very, very, very subtle one might look good because the background is already so um, kind of not overexposed, but it's, it's a bit brighter. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? You can see the before and after like this, compare. I think it looks pretty darn good. So I don't know if John's going to have any other suggestions. Maybe he would do this a different way. I would love to hear what he has to say. So if you're in the class, you might hear from him. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're interested in learning how to edit photos in Lightroom and do some more advanced techniques like this, enroll in the class. I'll post a link below. And if you're in the class and you have other questions or problems with your own photos, submit them to us. Post a question in the Q&A tab. And uh, if we have some time and, and we think it's relevant to the rest of the course, we might actually create a video tutorial for you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in another video.